Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Ink Drops paper pad from Craft Consortium. Before I get into the video I would just like to ask that if you're not already subscribed to my channel you hit the subscribe button and help my channel grow and if you enjoyed today's video or find it useful please also remember to leave me a thumbs up. The Ink Drops collection as a whole is really really popular. These sell out so fast and they are absolutely stunning. There's a really big variety of Ink Drops pads on the website so I'll leave the website linked in the description box and you can head over and check them all out if you want to. And I honestly don't think I could list every single one but this is the new one this is Ink Drops Rose and this launched just a few weeks ago. Now the Ink Drops paper pads are part of the essential range so that means that they are part of your core kit as a crafter. These are fantastic for mats and layers but you can also make absolutely stunning cards from these. They are an absolutely fantastic price point. They come in 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 versions. Um, you get 30 double sided sheets and you get 20 different designs. The papers themselves are 180 GSM and they are made from acid and lignin free cardstock. So without further ado, let's have a look because these are stunning and I cannot wait to share them with you. Full disclosure, if anyone isn't aware, I am on the Craft Consortium design team so these do get sent to me. However, I was a huge fan of Craft Consortium way before I got on their design team and I have been showing their paper pads on my channel for as long as I've had my channel really, so nearly three years. There's different shipping options you can choose when you buy from Craft Consortium. And when we get our packages sent to us as design team, they do normally come through DHL. However, this one was sent to me via Royal Mail. And I have to say, it came relatively quick. It came within two days, I think. So I think that's pretty good. They do use minimal packaging to try and be kind to the environment. So it was just like wrapped in a like brown cardboard sleeve absolutely fine no issues whatsoever so really pleased with royal mail really happy with how quick it came and let's look at it now because i cannot hold my excitement any longer now as we go through this pad trust me when i say you will be able to smell the roses and hear the bees because this is true to its name it's going to remind you of roses so the first page we have in the pad is this gorgeous red with gold just look at the different shades of red now it does look glittered but it's not it's just specks of gold and it's stunning can you imagine that for christmas or valentine's day or cut poinsettias out of this and die cut the papers oh my word it would look stunning i am so excited to start playing with this and i think i might do a few videos using this pad because I'm that excited and I'd like to share some inspiration using it so don't forget to have your notifications turned on so if you are interested in seeing those videos you get told when I upload them but just look at the colours here and I've just noticed down here it's almost northern lightish effect without obviously being northern lights because it's the wrong colour but that's what it reminds me of with that kind of slashing effect absolutely love it so that's the first page then we turn it over and we have this one so again we've stuck with red and we've got the gold and we've still got the gold flecks but it's kind of dark here going into light down here with a little bit of a swirly pattern over here really really pretty again fabulous for christmas valentine's so many different occasions if you've got an anniversary ruby wedding anything like that wouldn't that just be gorgeous in the pad you do get three of each designs as well so you don't have to be worried about using them so moving on to the next page we have this one how beautiful is this now look at this kind of effect here it kind of reminds me of a paintbrush effect where someone's kind of flicked the paintbrush it's beautiful and then up here it's kind of like a galaxy but you do get this effect on rose petal leaves 
um, so I think that's a really clever effect to actually add onto the paper pad. Through the middle we've got the different textures like you get on the leaves and it is all the same colour. And then moving down the page as we've covered we have these really interesting flicky marks and a more centred gold here and again it's darker down this side. Then we turn it over and oh my word, look at these pink shades. I am in love. Wow. Just look at these. Isn't that beautiful? And I love how the gold works with it. Absolutely love it. I just think that's absolutely stunning. Moving on to the next page and we have this absolutely incredible blend of pinks and purples we still have the beautiful gold sweeping through let me show you this one i love it this is almost like a bouquet on a page just look at these purples aren't they stunning possibly one of my favorite pages in the whole pad it's absolutely beautiful and then you turn the page and just look at this oh my word it's gorgeous it's just tones of pink with the gold mixed through on my camera this is looking almost lilac but it is a very pale pink maybe with some lilac tones in there but it does look pale pink to the eye then we have the darker colors here we've got the pinks over here it's just incredible and I love how the gold pulls it all together and complements it so well flipping over the page and we are met with this absolutely stunning array of pinks again slightly different this time a different layout different shades we've still got the gold almost looking silver over here I just love it these papers manage to look textured without being textured it's so so clever just look at these in fact this one over here almost looks petal shaped and on the reverse we have this one there is minimal gold in this sheet it's still incredibly beautiful and we still have the different shades of pink coming through the page. They've just eased off with the gold and let the colours speak for themselves. Coming on to the next page and we have gone into a much more purple state now. My word, look at this. The gold has now turned into kind of a silvery white very very pretty it works so well there is different shades of purple on this page we have very dark spaces we have very light spaces it's absolutely stunning then this is on the reverse and honestly i don't know what more i can say other than just wow it's just beautiful i mean you could quite honestly put this in a 12 by 12 frame on your wall and just have beautiful artwork honestly it's it's just incredible so i'm going to turn it this way to try and show you all the different features of this particular um paper now we do have the gold running through now to me that there looks like a rose head i may be wrong but that's kind of what it reminds me of and then we have this section over here which looks textured without actually being textured and it's almost like you can feel it blowing in the wind it's just beautiful and now we really are coming on to what are my most favorite pages in this whole pad so first we have this one it's just a really pretty baby pink but again we have got the darker areas on the pad and we have very subtle gold as well and it kind of peters out to this side so i absolutely love 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 this paper 
And then this is the reverse. I honestly am not sure how I'm going to choose which side to use first. It's absolutely beautiful. If I tilt it like this, you'll be able to see the gold kind of shining through. It is incredible and it is so, so beautiful. I'm really hoping the camera is doing this justice because it is really, really gorgeous. And then we have this one. Oh my word. Look at the shades of pink. We have so many shades of pink here. We still have the golds. We have a little bit of the white mixed in also. Oh my goodness. It's just incredible. I honestly love these um, ink drops papers so much. Every time they bring out a new one, it becomes my new favourite. And ink drop rose is definitely top of my priority list to play with right now just look at it and then we skip over to the back and check out this one it's just so pretty we do have a slightly darker line this side we still have the gold but we have more of the white coming through this time but it kind of blends into the gold it's so so pretty and now we're back to purples. This one has a hint of pink right at the top here. But apart from that, it's very purple with the gold still. Absolutely beautiful. And when we flip it over, just look at this. How is that for a statement piece? Oh my goodness. I love the feeling that this gives you and how it feels textured without being textured, how it looks cracked but it's not cracked I love the movement I love everything it evokes and it's just beautiful hard to follow but they managed it look at this one this is almost smoky it's kind of it's still purple um it's still though beautiful but it kind of reminds me of like a smoky effect it's kind of the effect you get when you dip the roses in ink so pretty and I love this pink up here we've still got the gold we've still got the white splashes it's just stunning and when you flip it over you get this now this is just amazing how great would that be for a male make because you could make that look like a galaxy if you were doing a space themed card just cutting that piece there you could easily make that look like a galaxy this does not just have to be for feminine makes isn't this the most incredible different textures and colors you've ever seen oh my word i am in love and sadly we are on to our last sheet now and look how we are leaving it we're still on the purples we have so many different shades over here in this one space without coming over here we've still got the golds we've still got the white splashes as well it's just gorgeous and our last sheet looks like this we've stuck with the purples we've still got the gold explosion up here it kind of looks like it's cracked open and the gold is coming through such a clever technique to put on and i just love the colors I love the contrast between these four. So pretty. And even here, you've got very slight coloration difference between these ones here. So that was Ink Drops Rose. It is the new essentials paper pad from Craft Consortium. Let me know what you thought in the comments section down below. I'd absolutely love to hear. Do you have a favourite sheet? Do you have a favourite couple of sheets? Is it already in your basket and winging its way to your house as we speak? Thank you so, so much for watching today. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. I really hope you found it useful. If you are new to Craft Consortium, we do have a Facebook site, which is specifically for all things made by Craft Consortium products. So the design team share a lot of inspiration on there, but we have over 2000 members on there now, and they also share what they've been making and share inspiration. So I'll leave it linked in the description box. And if you wanna come along and join, absolutely feel free. As long as your make features Craft Consortium, you are very, very welcome to share your makes with us.
If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd absolutely love it if you'd hit the subscribe button and help my channel grow. And if you have enjoyed today's video or found it useful, please also remember to hit the thumbs up button. I will be back soon with more videos. So until next time, thank you so, so much for taking the time to come and watch my video today. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.